dear God. It's amazing how many people are in the dark about the truth. But uh, you have to seek the truth out, folks. You have to find it. By the way, if you find a good thing, share the thing. If you like the show, share the show. That's what I say. If you like it, you enjoy it, share the show. A disabled Marine veteran, this is a sad story. It's happened in Georgia in a garage. Authorities are talking about Philip Lamar Davis, 47-year-old, was getting ready to take his wife to work early Friday morning when he opened the garage doors and three masked men ambushed them. When they went to confront the couple, Davis tried to protect his wife and push them away, only to spark a struggle, during which Davis was shot. His wife took off and ran to the neighbor's house to call for help. She was just screaming, there's gunshots, there's gunshots, get here right away, the wife's sister, Daphon Sinclair, said, reports WPXL, is that PXI, WPXI, she heard the gunshots and then ran to the neighbor's house to call 911. The uh, couple were high school sweethearts and got married a little over a year ago. We're trying to track sense of the suspects to see which directions they may have gone. The Cobb County Police spokesperson, Sharia Campbell, told the Palm Beach Post, like they said, you never think it's going to happen to your family, but it did. Lorenzo Sinclair, the wife's father, said, Claire said that, uh, we want to see the man behind this attack brought, brought to justice. Uh, Marshall Mitchell said, this just doesn't make any sense. Heartbroken loved ones after deadly home invasion. So sad. Ambushed by bass men in his garage. Folks, be careful out there. You never know uh, what people will do. Make sure you got surveillance systems. They're so cheap. Get yourself a wireless system. They're so cheap. Let me say it again. They're cheap. Get it. It's well worth it. Microphone, uh, they record. A lot of them are battery powered. If the power goes out, they're still recording. They have alarms on them, motion detectors. Make sure it's well worth it. You've invested in everything else in your home. Why not protect it? Uh, and get a video so you know who it is or who's coming by your house and see what people are up to. And it's just nice to keep an eye on your house when you're away. But somebody's always watching your house with a security system. I don't, I'm not selling one. I'm just saying get one and get one now. Whenever I see stories like that, I, I, I got to tell you, you got to do something. Uh, John Legend, uh, he's a singer. He's an actor. You get ready to do a, uh, a music video, and he is seeking older, overweight Americans to cast as Trump supporters for an upcoming music video, according to a report. White men and women 30 to 65 years old, preferably out of shape, Legends team wrote in an advertisement for casting networks based in Los Angeles per TMZ. He said, we'll be uh, playing protesters at a rally. We'll, we'll shoot a make-believe rally on a soundstage, and we'll need eight people to play Trump supporters. Similar ads for actions to play Black Lives Matter activists, young white male protesters, and various kissing couples were also placed by Legends representatives. Out-of-shape Americans to play Trump supporters. Uh, so the deplorables, all of us are, uh, we're overweight. Uh, we're out of shape. This is uh, more of the left. Thank you, John Legend, for giving me another reason why not to buy another album of yours or any of our listeners here at For the People. Uh, just uh, just another way just to, uh, we hate Donald Trump, and anybody that voted for him must be out of shape, must be fat, and uh, rest assured, I guarantee they will be white. They will not put any minorities in there, though so many minorities voted for Donald Trump. It's not even funny. Uh, they make it out look like it was all those that were college dropouts or high school dropouts, no education, the uneducated, all the uneducated. So not, none of the uneducated ever voted for Donald, or excuse me, Barack Obama. Oh, that's an interesting conversation, Keith Allen. Oh, never thought of that. 
You don't think anybody that went to the polls for Barack Obama may not have even had a GED, but because it was Barack, they voted for him? Well, you better believe it was. It's just, I'm just, I'm just calling the elephant in the room. I'm just, again, it's more common sense. Oh my God. There's so many things to talk about today. Two hours goes fast. Fast food workers are, uh, they're striking for $15 minimum wage to hear this story. Oh yeah. Uh, Labor Day protests are going on all over the country. Uh, for McDonald's, Labor Day protest, uh, the Termont Street McDonald's at 6 a.m., uh, followed by a rally there. And in Boston, uh, McDonald's, Burger King, and other restaurants walked off the job, call for $15 an hour minimum wage. Folks, you're selling burgers for 99 cents uh, and Whoppers for a dollar something. How in the world are you going to keep your Burger King and McDonald's open for $15? Work at McDonald's for what you're getting. Take some courses, learn a trade, welding, nursing, service-oriented position, and make yourself more money. Burger King, unless you're going to become the owner or the manager, you're never supposed to really get rich off that, folks. Just a kind of thought here, but more common sense for you served up daily. Happy Labor Day. Keith Allen, For the People, saying all the best. May God bless. Our website, forthepeopleshow.com.